Hi friends, I am on my way to work and I have um, a little bit of time to chit chat with you guys. So I thought that I would do a life update. I know a lot of you had sent in a lot of great recommendations for some unedited quick videos that I could do and a lot of you would like to know kind of like a life update, what's going on. And so I thought I would do that today. I have got a lot to share with you guys. Some um, exciting things and some not so exciting things coming up. There's a fly in my car. I wish it would get out of my window. Oh, so um, I guess I'll start off with a lot of people are wanting to know how is the work schedule going and how am I liking this kind of newish arrangement that we've got going on and I've shared in some of the vlogs but I know not a lot of you have time to watch like all the vlogs and everything so um, so for those of you who don't know I am a nurse I work in the emergency room and I am working a 3 p.m. to 3 a.m. shift this past six weeks I worked like three or four night shifts which were 7 p.m. to 7 a.m because of the unfortunate fact that um, it took me a little bit to get online and sign up for my shifts and by the time I did that some of the PRN staff had taken um, the shifts that are actually supposed to be for me to choose but instead of causing a big you know problem with it and going to the manager and everything else I just decided to learn my lesson about how long it takes me to get on there and sign up and just sign up for some night shifts instead so that's what I did um, and it was a little rough. We have definitely come to find out that night shift is definitely not what I need to be doing and more so for the fact that the traffic at that time for me to get home is just unbearable. So it took me two hours one morning to get home from work and I didn't even get home till 9 a.m. So it's just not the way to go. But um, the 3 p.m. to 3 a.m. shift is really working out well. Um, I have you know half of my day that I used to get our homeschooling done so this morning you know I really focused in with the kids and we got our math lessons done and we got our language arts and we got our Bible time and then um, excuse me I have a running nose my husband can pick up and do some of the other things with the kids like their um, memory work or things like that that I leave or he could do some read alouds with them and have Mason do some writing and so um, that's kind of how we've been working things out. So usually, since now Jacob is in um, public school, um, my husband is self-employed and he has been, um, I know at one point when we first moved into the house, I shared that he was working somewhere else, but he has since you know, stopped working there and that was mainly also a travel issue. Um, it just was taking far too long for him to get there and far too long for him to get home and with my traveling and like the kids schedules and everything it just was not working for our family so he is self-employed and so right now we are able to just kind of balance our schedules back and forth and work as a team to um, get the homeschooling in and take care of the kids like for child care so it's working out really really well um, Jacob does go, he's my 15 year old if you don't know, he does go to public school. This is his first year of, in high school, although he's in the 10th grade. We were homeschooling before that. It's going really, really, really well. He's really loving it. He is so excited about the ROTC program that he's in and he is doing so phenomenally in that. He has just really found his niche and that is his forte right now like he just loves it and I love that he loves it and he's made some awesome friends and so things are going really really well um, academically he's doing very well he has always struggled a little bit in the math area and I have always struggled at math too so he probably gets that from me um, but we've been taking advantage of some tutoring with him and kind of getting him a little bit more um, on track I think a lot of it also is the teaching style um, does not match up with his learning style and so we're having a really big problem with that which just goes to show you that one of the perks of homeschooling is you can try and match up the teaching style with the child's learning style but that being said he is thriving and he is happy and he is doing very well and I am we are just so proud of him 
So um, that's going really well. Gavin is my 13 going on 14 next month year old if you don't know and he is also in public middle school and um, things are going really well. I'm getting to see more of him. I'd like to have him even more <laughs> if I can work that out with his dad but um, since moving into his school district it's just been really really nice being closer to him and um, he I do have some news to share about him. So, unfortunately, um, Gavin had a sports accident on his very first game playing football, and within the first 20 minutes, um, I saw my poor child rolling around on the field, and he was holding his leg, and I was just scared to death. Mama Bear was wanting to run out on the field and it was just overwhelming to me because he is not really my child who is very, um, he doesn't exaggerate things. So I knew that he was in a lot of pain. And so we were hopeful that maybe it was just like a sprained knee. It ended up being a knee injury and he, you know, we wrapped it and um, he was able to walk off the field. And so we were hopeful, but he was never able to go back into the game. Um, he was on crutches for some time, and he had an MRI last week, or week before. We got the results last week, and Gavin has a torn ACL. So, Gavin is going to have to have surgery this Thursday, um, this Thursday morning. So, he is having a surgery for an ACL repair, and it is just so devastating to him because he has been told that he cannot play sports for the rest of the year and um, he's just you know it's been a hard pill for him to swallow he really loves his sports he loves activities and it's just been difficult for him but we're just you know I've tried to encourage him that these kinds of things happen and let's just use this time to maybe find some things um, that are not sports related that you can get involved in that you really you know explore other interests maybe um, so I'm just trying to encourage him, but we will be, I will be with him Thursday morning. He'll be going into surgery. So, um, that's the news on my little man. I am just so worried about the surgery and everything. So just pray that things go well with that, um, for him. And then let's see, I'm trying to move down the line for my children. If there's any updates, Mason is still doing Code Ninjas. He is loving that we are talking about whether or not we're going to continue or take a break from that so that he can go into some piano lessons again since moving we have not found another piano instructor but um, we're hopeful that we'll find one that will suit him and maybe he can um, continue on with piano lessons I think we'll probably take we had a three-month contract with Code Ninjas we'll probably take a break from that and let him do some piano lessons um, this winter is my thoughts. Not 100% sure on that. Um, so Maddie is not doing any lessons right now, although she has expressed some interest in dance. So we'll see if we can fit that in. Um, we may or may not be going down that road with her, um, but she is doing really well. She is in her first year of Classical Conversations community. She is thriving. She is doing so, so, so well. She loves Homeschool Community Day, as does Mason. In our new Homeschool Community, the kids just love it. They have made tons of friends. Um, it's just been a really good experience thus far. So it's been really fun. We had a zoo trip last week, and that went really well. Um, and um, a lot of you have asked about uh, Maddie's sensory issues. We, are, we have made some progress with just learning what kinds of things kind of set off her issues. Um, I definitely know that her being overtired is one of the things that really seems to aggravate her sensory issues. Um, I've just learned what fabrics that she can tolerate and ones that she can't. And so we've been trying to um, 
it's been a process. We've had to kind of almost completely redo her wardrobe. At one point we were down to literally like two outfits that she would wear and it was so frustrating to me. Even shoes. We were having issues with finding shoes that she could tolerate on her feet and it just seemed like her sensory issues just all of a sudden became so pronounced and exaggerated and I'm not sure if it's just developmentally that she was able to kind of um, articulate that better now that she has more language or if it was just something that has become more pronounced because of some other thing I'm not sure but um, we have you know with her sleeping issues we've continued to use melatonin but we also discovered that using a higher dose of melatonin was actually exaggerating her sensory meltdowns so we have to use the smallest amount of melatonin to help her go to sleep um, and it's just a very very fine balance of getting her to sleep and making sure that she doesn't have too much that kind of sends her over the edge to where she is not able to you know handle herself so things are going okay in that area um, let's see little Solomon is doing very very well developmentally right on track he is advanced in the teething department he has eight teeth in the front and he has just finished cutting his eighth <laughs> no his 12th <laughs> 9 10 11 his 12th tooth he has four molars and um, four in the front four on the bottom and he is my eater 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 this kid loves to eat and he will eat anything that you put in front of him except for mashed potatoes I don't know why but he doesn't like mashed potatoes <laughs> but he really really likes food and he kind of skipped the whole baby food thing and decided that he wanted real people food and we are right now working on his um, trying to get him to learn how to drink from a sippy cup which is proving to be kind of difficult to find a, an appropriate one for him it's just challenging I know that's a skill that he has to develop but it's kind of challenging he's struggling a little bit in that area so we're trying to make sure he gets enough fluids as far as bottles go he is still having bottles although he did turn one at night he is having bottles but pretty much um, only having a bottle at nap time one during nap time during the day and then at night he'll have between two and four bottles in the night he's still waking a lot during the night and he was actually my great sleeper for a long time and then when these molars started coming in we started having the sleep problems and those problems have just persisted and at times have gotten really unbearable um, he has been waking very regularly through the night and it's just a sleep regression that I know is completely normal but for mom and dad it's very stressful Especially when we are both working a lot and really tired anyway so um, those days can be hard but I see a light at the end of the tunnel this last tooth has come through and hopefully we'll have a respite before the rest of those molars decide to come through so um, that's the news on Solomon um, so I also have some news about my husband so my husband as you all know has kind of dabbled in a lot of different um, occupations he you know is a painter by trade and has owned a painting company for a long time which is a very um, good business financially to be in and it is also a very exhausting business physically emotionally mentally um, it's just uh, the income fluctuates tremendously but it is just a very stressful business to be in and one that my husband desperately wants out of and has for years years although nothing has really panned out he was a police officer when I met him that income is just not enough for our family and uh, the painting company is definitely um, you know it, it's it's better financially for us so um, he is actually we kind of bit the bullet and he is back in school believe it or not he's going back to school so that being said the area that he's going into I cannot talk about right now because he kind of wants to keep it a little bit under wraps um, but um, when he finishes school he will have um, 
the opportunity to make a lot of money and our plan is to bring me home again <laughs> bring me back home if not full-time then just cut my hours back to um, a very part-time kind of thing and because both of our hearts is to you know have me home with the kids and um, that kind of thing but with the um, fluctuating income of his business it's just not a possibility we need um, we need benefits and we need the regular income that my job provides and because I have a good paying job he is able to right now sort of take a step back and devote um, some time into schooling and pursuing his interests um, which will ultimately benefit our family in a big way so that is where we're at that's what we've been working towards um, a lot of people had no clue, you know, when I went back to work about these things and all of these things have been in the works for a very long time. And so that's why it's just so frustrating when people want to judge you because of the decisions that you're making for your family. They have no clue what every detail, every detail is and why you're doing the things you're doing. So, um, it's just, you know, we do what's best for us. And so right now this is what's best. I'm, you know, working full time and we're tag teaming homeschooling and sometimes the housework gets crazy and um, it gets pushed to the side but right now we are just pursuing our goals and we have um, you know great plans in the future and um, things that we're really just working towards and I just um, I'm really excited about it and I'm really excited for him I think he's gonna do great and um, he is going to be going to school part-time for now and still continuing to work um, at his job and with his flexible hours and everything it's just it's working out for our family so I um, yeah so for my YouTube channel I have some more exciting news um, I'm wanting to really get you know more plugged in with the YouTube channel I know I had talked about you know doing a lot more um, spiritual and Christian related videos and those are still in the works um, but I'm trying to decide exactly what route that I want to go and balancing all of that and with you know him just now starting back to school all of these things is just a lot to balance and so you know I've done some vlogging but I haven't really done a lot of the videos that I, I wanted to do so um, those are coming but I also have some more exciting news I have started a patreon uh, website and I know that that kind of freaks some people out and oh my goodness you know she's gonna be charging for her videos and this and that so as you all know patreon or maybe you don't know but patreon is just a way to support your favorite channels and to get some extra content that you like from your favorite people so um, if you know you find my content something that you enjoy and is valuable um, there is um, a way for you to like pledge a support a monthly support to the channel which will allow me to devote more time into my youtube channel and put out a lot of the videos that i've been wanting to put out but just don't you know i haven't had the the oomph and the time to do it so um, i'm really motivated about this i would like to pour into youtube as a ministry i feel like that is really where god is just calling me i want to share that and um christian living with other women and so it would be so awesome if I could have, you know, a little more financial um, support in order to do that and not have to work, you know, at my other job so hard. So it would be great to, to be able to eventually move forward to doing this full time. So that is like my biggest goal. But for now, I am going to open my Patreon website. It is created and I will share the link with that um, in the description box below so what you can expect from the patreon videos are meal planning um, I will be sharing faith-based videos and all of this um, stuff is just going to be extra I'm still going to be doing YouTube videos as well I plan on posting between two and three videos on YouTube a week and that is going to be um, on a schedule and I am planning on just really devoting and making you know a specific effort to to move forward in this direction so um, my plan for now is three videos a week on YouTube and then there will be at least two videos a week on uh, one to two videos a week on patreon which will be kind of exclusive content that paid um, 
Patreons will be able to see. So, like I said, there will be a lot of like meal planning, shopping, faith-based, um, more intimate um, videos, and I would love to develop just like a really tight-knit community there on Patreon that we can really open up and it'd be more of like a, um, I don't know, like just like a really intimate sisterhood kind of thing where we can really talk and share ideas. And um, I've been reading this book by A.W. Tozer. A lot of you have seen it if you follow me on Instagram. It is The Crucified Life by A.W. Tozer. And you guys, I am seriously considering digging through that book with you guys step by step, chapter by chapter, because it is so rich. It is so rich with biblical truth. I have felt the Holy Spirit just moving and working and oh my goodness, it is just amazing the kind of stuff that I have been hearing from the Lord as I'm studying the Word and and just reading through this book and, you know, um, just praying for wisdom. It's amazing the kind of, like, um, I don't know, insight I feel like He's given me and He's opening my eyes to some things and um, it's just really exciting. So I'd love to share that with you guys. And one of the things that, you know, I've been working through and you guys have asked me a lot about is my head coverings and what is up with that, you know. And so I would love to talk more about that. But if I go into that in this video, this video is just going to drag on and on and on. And then I won't, you know, it'll just be too long. So that is another thing that I'm planning on digging in deep with you guys because it is a deep, deep topic and one that I'm sure is very controversial and you know I still am trying to work through it with the Holy Spirit but um, like I shared with one of you, one of my subscribers messaged me about it and said hey sometimes you're wearing them sometimes you're not what's the deal are you you know head covering now or not and I'm like I feel like I'm still working through this I do feel like the Holy Spirit is convicting me about it but I honestly feel like I'm being a little bit rebellious and not wanting to <laughs> obey in some ways because I'm like, eh, you know, I don't know, like my flesh kind of battles with my spirit, just like, you know, Paul says, you know, I do the things I don't want to do and uh, all these things I know I should do and then I don't. And so that's the thing. I feel like the Holy Spirit is calling me to it and I want to be so obedient and I'm praying and I'm trying to just seek truth. And I do not want a bit rebellious spirit. So if I feel like he's, is, this is exactly what happened with homeschooling. And this is exactly what happened when he called me to wear skirts. I just battle it out with the Lord. And sometimes it takes weeks, months, and sometimes longer because I'm stubborn. But um, a lot of times it's just, I'm just like, are you really saying this, Lord? Or is this me? Am I being influenced by somebody else? Or is this your calling? And so... That's really at the, the core of it. I'm just seeking out, Father, what are you saying to me? Are you saying for me to head cover all the time? Are you saying for me to head cover when I pray? Are you saying for me to, you know, head cover when I am, you know, seeking the truth or, you know, in a corporate worship environment? What is it? What is it that you're calling me to? And so um, I'm reading the word. I'm studying, you know, really deep study into the Greek um, words and just trying to get to the bottom of it and I'm I feel like God will reveal his truth and his you know it will be done his will will be done one way or another <laughs> so that's where I'm at with it um, so I'm not head covering all the time but I'm trying to head cover more often than not and I feel like the Lord has already been blessing me because of my obedience to him and changing my spirit, changing the way that I think about things and the way I respond and the way I deal with people and my heart on a lot of issues, softening my heart and my spirit to, you know, the moving of the Holy Spirit. Um, just a lot of really cool things. So I'm at 25 minutes and I guess I better wrap it up because I'm almost to work. I hope you guys enjoyed this life update. There is so much in this video. And I'm sure I will be getting a lot of questions. And I promise you there are more videos to come. And um, I'll do my best to respond in comments to you guys. I love you all. I appreciate all of your support. And all of you that still hang in there with me. Despite all of my crazy posting schedules. And 
back and forth stuff all the time. You guys are so awesome and I love you all and you have no idea how much you guys have encouraged me throughout the years and just impacted my life and I just thank you, thank you, thank you and I love you all and if you leave a negative comment that's really ugly and hateful under this video, I will probably delete it because I just want this to be a positive atmosphere. Um, especially, you know, just under this video that's really real and what's going on with me and um, yeah, so that's that. I love you guys. I will see you again very soon. I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.